Hiya, and welcome back to Tennis Ace. The game that teaches us that it takes us... Takes us several days just to get through one day. I don't know. Anyways, let's just hop right in. Wrong file. Today I've been called here to this cafe by a friend. He's noticed how stressed I've been lately and decided to try and help me de-stress. I have to say I truly appreciate the thought. You've only been here for a little while and I have to say that I definitely feel better. Who knew talking could be so therapeutic? Yoichi, are you even paying attention to what I'm saying? Oh, sorry, what? Hiya. Jeez, here you go spacing out again. It's like you were a thousand miles away. Sorry, sorry, I guess I was a little lost in thought. Hiya. No kidding. Yes. Shoichi was the one to invite me here. He called me early this morning and asked me if I'd like to meet him here for lunch. I was a little skeptical of the idea, but now I'm glad that I came. Okay, I'm back now. What were you saying again? Are you sure? I don't really feel like talking to a wall again. It's not going to happen again, I swear. If you say so, then I guess it's okay. Anyways, I was talking, I was asking how your class's preparations for the festival were going. It's already right around the corner. It was kind of a mess at first. No one could really agree on anything. In the end, everyone decided to open a little restaurant. Gin insisted on the idea since we had nothing better planned. We went with it. What kind of food will you guys be serving? I think it was supposed to be Sichuan cuisine, uh, but I don't remember now. I know that it's supposed to be traditional Chinese food. You'll have to ask Gin if you want more details. If it's him, then I'm sure it'll be okay. That guy's knowledge of food can put critics to shame. He certainly is no regular glutton. Calling him a glutton is a little insensitive, though. Oh, come on. It's not like he's here to hear it. You can be really mean when people... You really can be mean when people aren't listening, huh? Oh, browser froze. W what? I'm not mean. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just yanking your chain. Is that so? I can't even tell anymore. Since you guys will be working on a restaurant, does that mean I'll get to see you in an apron? In your dreams, I bailed out on it as fast as I could. I'm helping with the decor, organization, and shopping, and that's it. Aw, must you trample my dreams like that? Don't give me the puppy dog eyes now. Busted, huh? With a lighthearted conversation like this, it's hard to believe the kinds of things that have been happening lately. In fact, just thinking about it already gives me a sinking feeling in my chest. But I promised Shoichi that we'd have some fun today, so I don't want to let anything get in the way. Welcome, sir. We are full at the moment, but if you'll be patient, a table should clear out for you in a few minutes. Since we're so close to the entrance, it's hard not to hear when someone walks in. By the way, hey, aren't you? You are! You're that guy that was with Kobayashi back at the piano competition. The lion walks right up to us, interrupting our conversation. You know this guy, Yuichi? Well... Which one? Yeah, I met him when June and I were waiting for you guys back at the piano competition. Come to think of it, he even talked to us after the competition was over, and I'm pretty sure you were with us, don't you remember? You really expect me to remember someone I saw once over a month ago? If anything, I'm surprised you'd remember. My memory isn't that bad, you don't need to act so surprised. The lion looks between the two of us with a smile on his face. Your name... Akutagawa, right? Sorry if I got it wrong, I'm not really good with names. It's alright. And you remembered it correctly. To be honest, I never introduced myself when we met, so even so you even knowing my name at all is really surprising. It's hard to forget a guy who delivers a full-blown villain speech in broad daylight. Full-blown villain speech? I will make sure the name Shinji Akutagawa is one you'll never forget. It was something like that. 
Huh? Y you remember that? No, forget it. Forget it right this instant. <laughs> no way. He really said that? J shut up. Just forget I ever said anything like that. Sorry. Asking me to forget that scene is a little... I don't want to say the word impossible, but no better word comes to mind. Good. Well, either way, it's good to meet an acquaintance of Jun's. My name is Shoichi Urata. We go to the same school. And I'm Yuichi Michimiya. I sit next to Jun in class. It's a pleasure to meet you. To be honest, I didn't know Kobayashi had any friends outside of the competitors we knew as children. Why is that? Well, it might be a bit biased since I never got to see how he acted out of the competitions, but he was always very focused and withdrawn. He didn't goof around much like the rest of us did. I'd certainly expect to see a bunch of children goofing off, even if they were facing against, e facing against each other in a competition. It's not that different from the tennis tournament in that sense. The, ch the children's tournaments are a lot more relaxed. Right, but he never really mingled with us, so I just thought he wasn't the type of person to have any friends. That doesn't sound at all like the Jun we know. Yeah, saying that he's a goofball would probably be putting it lightly. True. By the way, isn't he with you guys right now? Nah, he's on bed rest right now. He was actually in the hospital up until a few days ago. The lion's eyes immediately go wide in shock. What? No way! Don't tell me it happened again! Again? What happened again? Did something happen to him before? Ah. Uh... As soon as he sees the look on my face, Akutagawa looks away from me. It's nothing. Forget I said any- Forget you said anything? It's a little late for that, isn't it? What are you talking about? Yuichi, that's enough. What do you mean that's enough? Aren't you the least bit curious about this? He basically just said that Jun was in a hospital before too. We all know Kobayashi has a frail health. Would it really be all that surprising for him to have visited a doctor before? Don't play that game with me. We both know when someone sees that a person was in the hospital, that means they were admitted to it. Not just getting a checkup. Even so, whether that's true or not, don't you think that's up to June to tell us? You shouldn't go prying into other people's pasts. But, that bad feeling I've been having up to now returns with force. Akutagawa-san, won't you please tell me what you mean by th by that again comment? It's really not my place. So you're saying he was admitted to a hospital once before? I- Yuichi! There are people staring at us, man. Let it go already. When I look around us, I see the people in the other surrounding tables all staring at us. Crap. You really don't think sometimes. How am I supposed to think? So June has been in a hospital before. Now I have a ton of questions swimming in my mind. I'm sorry, I really shouldn't have said anything. Don't worry about it, you didn't know. Why was he admitted to the hospital, if you don't mind telling me? He tripped during practice and hit his head on the corner of the piano. He was a... He was a... There was a little bleeding, but it wasn't all that serious. He was in and out of the hospital in very little time. Ah, I see. Sir, we have a table open for you now. One of the staff members calls out to Akutagawa. Oh, thank you very much. I'll be right there. The lion turns to us again. Do tell Kobayashi that I send him my best regards and hope he'll be well, okay? Of course. Once Akutagawa leaves, the two of us fall completely silent. I can see the gears turning in your head, you know. Silence, huh? I guess your mood is ruined no matter how I look at it. How I look at it, huh? Sorry. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with being worried about a friend. In fact, it's a good thing. Just make sure you don't let it completely eat you up from the inside. Well, we've already finished eating anyway. Would you like to just call it quits early and head home? You'd be okay with that? What the hell do you take me for? Think I'd be mad if you weren't feeling up to it anymore? I'm more worried about how you feel than about a little failed hangout. I, I see. Then I guess I'm going to head home after all. All right, let me just check. Let me just get the check so we can be on our way. We walk out into the streets. The crowd that comes with the rush hour had just begun to die down, but it was still full of people everywhere. Well, I guess I'm going to take this opportunity to go grocery shopping. I have to start stocking on the foods my dad likes to eat now, after all. Sorry for cutting our time together short. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the one who offered it. Tell June I said hi, okay? Huh? You heard what I said. See ya. So he knew I wanted to go see June, huh? He could have just said so from the start. Idiot. It might be bad for me to just show up to ask him stuff from his past out of the blue. Maybe I should bring some sort of gift with me? Great. Now I've started talking to myself. June, darling, you have a visitor. A visitor? Yuichi-san? Heya. Uh, what are you doing here? What, can I want to check up on a friend? You can, but that's the kind of thing you'd usually warn people about beforehand. Sorry, am I getting in the way of something? No, no, of course not. I'm just surprised you dropped by, that's all. Ah. I see. Are you? Alright. Uh huh? Of course I'm alright. What do you ask? I guess... I just got a feeling. A feeling? 
Yeah, what with you showing up all of a sudden looking a bit down, I just got the feeling that something was up. He really is more perceptive than I gave than I give him credit for. Just continue to rest, you adorable bundle of joy. It's alright, you don't have to worry about me. If you say so. Well, since you're already here, why don't we sit down and chat for a bit? What's with that plastic bag you've got with you? Oh, right. Here, I bought these for you. It's some of your favorite sweets and a few savory snacks. Uh, oh, I see. Hiya. You bought me more stuff. What's with that face that says you don't like what you see? N no, it's not that. It's just, you've been doing so much for me lately. It makes me feel guilty. Guilty? Why would it make you feel guilty? I mean, I can't really do anything for you in return, right? I don't really have money to spare, so I can't buy you your favorite snacks or give you a present like that keychain. Even if it's something cheap, I still can't do it. Who says you have to give me anything in return? Huh? I'm just doing this because I want to. Don't think too much about it. <laughs> Yuichi-san, you're kind of cute when you're embarrassed. Just shut up and take the bag already. Okay. Ooh, cheese crackers. Yeah, oh yeah, I just picked them up at the grocery store on a whim. You like them? Yeah, I love cheese almost as much as I love sweets. That's great then. Jun puts the bag on top of his desk, tucking it away into a corner. You're not going to eat it? Not while I have a guest over. That'd be impolite. I never took you for the kind of person to worry about politeness. Seriously, what kind of person do you take me for? An adorable airhead with questionable common sense? Wait, did I just call another guy adorable? Never mind. You just thought of something bad, didn't you? N no way! Well, never mind that. What would you like to do? Quick to switch gears as always. I swear, sometimes the things he, s he says aren't good for my heart. Er, let me recompose myself for a bit. Huh? Recompose yourself? What do you mean? Not everyone is as quick to switch gears like you, you know. Switch gears? He's hopeless. And I don't know why I'm surprised. By the way, what have you been doing for the past few days that you've been cooped up here? Well, I haven't been allowed to touch the piano, so I've just... Wait, you can't play the piano? Why? What would be the problem with that? Oh, uh, I guess they just don't want me to move around too much. He's a terrible liar. But the question is, even if I know he's lying, should I let him know that I know? There's no telling how he might react if I ask for clarification. Which one? Okay. I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. June Coon. Coon? Why are you calling me the- You're a terrible liar, you know. L liar? Just now you couldn't even look me in the eye. Not only that, you were completely at a loss for what to say. It sounded like you were trying to come up with an excuse on the spot. Uh, no, that's not- Come on, is it really something you can't tell me? I thought we were friends. C come on! Don't say that. We are friends. It's just- I feel like a major tool for pulling out the friend card at a time like this, but if I'm going to push him for information, then I might as well go all the way. June, sorry, I'm going to be merciless for a bit. F fine I'll tell you. Stop looking at me like that. It worked? My parents are afraid it could happen again. Happen again? You mean the same accident as before? Isn't that a little unrealistic? Y yeah, you're totally right. I'm still not totally convinced. I feel like he's still hiding something. Does this have anything to do with what Akutagawa said? Just from the look on his face, I can already tell that I shouldn't say anything further. He already looks pretty overwhelmed as is. I I'll let it go for now. 
I don't want to pile stress onto him while he's supposed to be recovering from an injury. I see. Sorry to have pushed you. Ah, I think I've completely ruined his mood. Oh, I just remembered. Shoichi asked me to say hi to you. Is that so? How is, how is Shoichi-san doing? A bit stressed from working on the school festival, but otherwise pretty okay. We actually got together this morning and went to a cafe. Sounds fun! Sounds fun, I wish I could have been there. Wait, if Shoichi-san was with you, then why didn't he come over too? He had other things he needed to get done. If I remember correctly, he said he needed to go grocery shopping to pick up the, other, the things his father likes. Oh yeah, he did mention his dad was coming back home. He even asked for my help organizing a welcome home party, but that idea was a bust. How come? I couldn't convince him not to cook. Uh, oh! Those poor guests, they never even saw it coming. Let us not speak further of the dead. There is nothing we can do to bring them back. Yuichi-san, I know you're kidding, but you're kind of scaring me. Is that so? Sorry, I guess I just got to in the, do the joke. Still, I imagine that party can't have been pleasant. I'm still surprised Akihiko-san didn't yell at him or anything. I guess the shock was too great. Maybe he just didn't want to hurt Shoichi's feelings. Shoichi gave an entire room full of people food poisoning. Pretty sure he was past the point of caring about feelings. G it's a good thing Shoichi's sister showed up. She managed to get him out of the house before the disaster rolled out so he didn't get to see it. Wait, so Shoichi-san doesn't know what happened? No. Hitoka sent him shopping for last minute preparations and all the guests left before he got back. She then threatened me so I wouldn't tell Shoichi. I'm not sure if I should call him lucky or not. He's lucky. It's the people eating his food that aren't. Right. Did I miss anything else for these days that I've been absent? What about Keisuke-san or Mizuguchi-san? There's not much to tell. Sai's been taking more shifts than usual to save up for a new phone. As for Keisuke, all I know is that he's spending more time with the band than he, with that band he joined. Since there are no tennis club practices for a while, I haven't seen much of him. It's kind of sad. We're not his only friends after all. Plus, we want to avoid scheduling any group hangouts until you're back on your feet and can come with us. What? I, I really appreciate the thought, but you guys don't have to stop having fun just because I'm not around. Don't be ridiculous. How many times do I have to tell you that you're a member of, our, of this group? The fun is in having everyone hanging out together. <laughs> so now he's blushing? Looks like someone is happy to hear that. I, I didn't say anything! You didn't have to. One look at your face was enough to tell me what you're feeling. Am I that obvious? To say you wear your emotions on your sleeve would be an understatement. G it's not a bad thing. You're easy to talk to because of it. R really? Of course. It also makes teasing you a lot more fun, but, you know, I'm not going to bring that up. It really makes me... It really makes what that guy said sound really strange when I think about it. What guy? Oh, um, er, nothing. I'm just thinking out loud. Wait, why am I even hiding this? What would be the harm in telling him we met a Kudagawa anyway? Well, actually, Shoichi and I met someone at the cafe, and he kind of told us about your past. What? what? Who? What did he say? Shinji Akutagawa, the lion guy from your competition. W what? Really? Yeah, he told us you used to be really withdrawn as a kid, so much so he didn't even think you had friends at all. I just thought that, I just thought that, that description really didn't sound like you. It's kind of true. R really? Yeah, at least where the competitions were concerned, I never really talked to the other kids. I used to be really competitive when I was a kid, so I refused to mingle with the competition. Pretty petty, huh? I would have never guessed. Everyone has a past, half, past after all. Plus, it's been over seven years since that time, and I was a kid. Of course I matured a lot since then. You did? Why do you sound so surprised? M me? Surprised? You must be imagining things. Crap. I just blurted out what came to my mind without thinking. Well, well the important thing is that you're a different person now, and you can get along with the other competitors now, right? I'm not letting that little comment go that easily. Gah! I think I'm in the. I think I'm in need of rescuing just about now. L letting what go? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop glaring at me like that! I got the message. Sorry, June, sweetie, I'm coming in. Saved by the gong, or in this case, June's mother. Do you boys want to have a snack? I baked some cookies. Hold up. His nose changes, and I love that. Mom, you don't need to fret so much just because there's someone over. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You have so few friends. Of course I'm going to treat them with the utmost care. G Thanks for the vote of confidence. Um, cookies sound great, Kobayashi-san. 
Please don't leave me alone with him until he forgets what just happened. Of course it sounds great. It's cookies. Why don't you boys come to the living room and I'll bring them to you. Sure. I have to admit, I never thought your mom would be the stereotype I made cookies for you kids type. She just likes playing host to other people. We used to have visitors and dinner parties all the time when I was younger. You don't anymore? Not since mom started working two jobs. With dad picking up more shifts and mom having to get a second job, they barely have any free time anymore. She just took a week off to keep an eye on me. Why do your parents need to work so much? Do you guys have that many expenses? That's... I really shouldn't be talking about my parents' financial situation. Sorry. Something's weird here. I can't imagine a small family like this living in a small house could accrue through enough expenses to warrant that much work. My mom might have a better than average job, but she's still capable of supporting Aki and me without working herself to death. Well, she still works herself to death, but that's because she likes her job. She can also take things easy and she would still earn enough to support us. Isn't your father a cop? I thought cops made good money. Like I said, I shouldn't be talking about their money situation. And besides that, my dad is just a low-ranking patrolman. The pay isn't all that great. Wait, how did you know my dad was a cop? He was wearing his police cap when he picked you up from the hospital. Oh, right. He's not supposed to wear it outside when he's off shift, but he tends to forget it's on. How can you forget that you have a cap on? Actually, never mind. This is the Kobayashi family I'm talking about. If they're anything like their son, it is entirely believable. Well, his mom doesn't seem that bad, at least. Either way, we should probably go outside before my mom comes to fetch us. Trust me, you don't want to annoy her. Considering all the scary women I already have in my life, I can't even muster a look of surprise to that statement. Sometimes when I think of how Sai pretty much bosses all of us around, I start wondering whether we're all just beta males. Ugh, that thought just sends chills down my spine. I don't want to be a bunny's little toy. We're dead. We are dead. We both sit at the living room table directly across from each other. I have to admit, even though this house is small, it's very cozy. For some reason, I feel right at home here. That's not something I've ever been able to say about any place other than my own home. By the way, Yuichi-san, you were telling me about how you ran into a Kudagawa-kun before? Oh god, I thought he'd forgotten about it already. Is he still mad at me for that unfortunate comment? Y yeah, I was. What about it? Did... Did he say anything else? About me, I mean. Why do you ask? You're the one who brought up the fact that you bumped into him in the first place. Of course I'm going to ask about it. I guess that's true. Man, I'm not used to seeing him looking annoyed at me. It somehow feels ten times worse than having upset someone like Sai... Than having someone like Sai upset. Probably because I'm already used to seeing her upset. We didn't really talk for long, you know. He just bumped into us while he was waiting for a table at the cafe. It was us in five minutes. You still have time to tell you about me not getting along with the other kids in that time. I suppose it's true, too. Alright, sorry it took me a while. I had some trouble getting these out of the baking tray. Did you forget to line it with parchment paper again? Oh, I didn't forget. We just ran out. Ugh, not again. Again? We seem to run through rolls of parchment paper like they're candy. I suppose it's my fault. I'm always baking whenever I'm home. It helps me to relax. It's also the reason why we've gained so much weight these past few years. I understand that your parents might not have much time, but what's your excuse for not trying to exercise then? Well, well that's... Didn't Jun tell you? He... I really hate exercising. Yeah, I already told him that. I just hate feeling sweaty and all that. He's hiding something. Jun's mom stares at him with wide open eyes. However, as quickly as her shot came, she flashes. She flashed us another smile. Yes, I suppose you would have told him already then. Would you boys like something to drink? Milk? Maybe some tea? Yuichi-san hates tea. It's true, I really do. Oh no, not another tea hater. Atsushi is already a handful. That's just because dad is really whiny about it. Whiny? Oh yeah, whenever mom brews some tea, he starts complaining about how awful the house smells and how it makes him feel sick. He really sounds like a little kid throwing a tantrum. <laughs> the similarities are uncanny. You shouldn't laugh about that. You're so much like your father in many ways, you know. Ugh, please don't say that. I don't complain nearly as much as he does. Your father didn't used to complain as much as he does now, either. It just comes with age, darling. You're so much like your father when he was your age. It's a bit scary. N no! Anything but that! Oh, come on. You don't want to grow up to be like your father? God, no. He has no common sense. He does so many embarrassing things when we're out in public. 
And the similarities continue to pile up. June's mom shoots me a knowing, amused glance. Almost as if she could read my mind. I guess she really knows him even better than he knows himself, huh? Well, in that case, should I just bring your boys some milk? Of course! Milk and cookies are a match made in heaven! Well, I don't think I'd go that far, but I wouldn't say no to something else to drink, though. Sorry to inconvenience you out of the blue, ma'am. Oh, don't be silly. I love having people over, not to mention how happy it makes me to have June's friends come visit him. I was starting to worry that he had no real friends since no one had dropped by these past few days. Mom, I already told you. It's nothing serious. They have no reason to come here. Actually, I told them not to come here myself. It's true, he really did tell us that he didn't that we didn't need to come. Well, that is no way to treat your friends. If they're worried about you, then they have every right to visit. It's only natural. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I don't really know much of this woman, but damn! I like her already. I will be right back. She's a good mom. Is something wrong? Huh? Ah! No! I was just thinking some stuff over. Are you thinking about what your mom said about you not wanting us to visit? Kinda. I didn't want to be a bother to anyone, that's why I said that. I didn't even realize that me not having visitors was upsetting her. Of course it would be! What else could she think when her son has been on bed rest for days and no one bothered to drop by to see him? I guess you're right. You don't guess I'm right, I am right. Yeah, yeah, don't get cocky. Still, your mom is pretty nice. You never really talk about your parents much. You never really talk much about your parents, so I didn't really know what to expect. She's really nice. She can also be strict at times, and boy, is she scary when she's angry. Most of the time, she's really sweet. It's it's a pretty neat change of pace. I'm not really used to having, used to talking to many parents. How come? Well, my mom was always working, too. She's that kind of person that you'd call in love with the job. I haven't talked to Shoichi's mom since his parents split up years ago, and, well, Keisuke's entire family is kind of an unknown. I suppose I've talked to Saya's parents quite a few times. They're mostly normal people. Neither of them has her daughter's temper, at least. Mizuguchi-san really is scary sometimes, isn't she? Yeah, tell me about it. Now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever seen your mom. I've never met your mom either. Actually, I don't think I've never. I don't. I don't think I've ever been close enough friends with anyone to meet their parents. Really? Even when you were a kid? I told you I wasn't the most sociable person. I had a few kids I was friendly with. Most of them were my classmates, but I was never the type to go out and play and whatnot. I guess I'm also the kind of person you could call in love with the job. Although in my case, piano isn't really a job. It can be. With your skills, I'm sure you could do it. If only that were true. Mm, I can't quite put my finger on it, but... I'm getting this weird vibe from June today. Is everything okay with you? For real. We haven't really talked in a couple of days, outside of trading a few messages at least. Yeah, I'm fine. I just hate being cooped up in here for so long. It's almost worse than the hospital. How come? I thought you'd feel better if you got to rest at home. It makes me feel like an invalid, just because of a tiny little problem. Everyone is suddenly treating me like a maid of glass. Of course the fault is mostly with my parents, but... Is it so bad not wanting to be treated differently? I never really noticed he'd been thinking things like that. I suppose it's not the kind of thing one can notice just by looking, but still. I hope I've been guilty of the same. A bit. Uh, you, mostly you've just been pampering me a lot. Lots of presents and snacks, and you might not notice it, but you're also being more soft-spoken around me. I I'm sorry. I thought you'd like the presents. Don't get me wrong, I love them, especially the keychain. It's one of my most prized possessions now since the first real gift I've ever gotten from a friend. Even if you say it was just a cheap afterthought. But at the same time, I don't know. I might just be weird. I'm not even really sure how I feel about it. I really like it, but I also feel really bad about it. I'm a mess. <laughs> sorry. I'll try to rein in it a little. It's okay. This isn't your problem. It's my own awkwardness at fault. I'm just not good at depending on other people. I always feel like such a burden when others go out of their way for me. Even though I know they're doing it because they want to and it makes them happy to care for me. Like I said, I really am a mess. After being cooped up inside the house with no one to really talk to, it just makes me mull over those thoughts again and again. It's not healthy. Isn't your mother here? Can't you talk to her? I can't talk to her about this. It... I just add to the issues she has to deal with. I don't want to put another burden on her. I think you're being too self-conscious here. She's your mother. I'm sure she'd want to do whatever makes you feel more at ease. That's kind of what scares me. You don't know how far my parents would go to do that. I guess I'll concede to that point. But like I said, I really am grateful for everything you guys have been doing for me. You're all so nice and caring. Kind of makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Just don't tell anyone I said that. 
Oh, for sure. If Keisuke and Shoichi ever heard that line, there'd be no one to the teasing. Just thinking about it already makes my skin crawl. At least he seems like he's cheered up a little. Do you feel better being able to talk about your feelings more openly? Yeah, I feel a bit silly for talking about all this mushy stuff to you, but I really feel like I can trust you enough for that. Of course you can. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah. Just friends. What was that? Oh, nothing. I just agreed with you. By the way, where's your mom? Didn't she just go to the kitchen to grab milk? Oh, I have an idea where she might be. Huh? Look at the cookie plate. There's six. So? She always makes 12. Okay. And? Just take a good look at her lips when she comes back and you'll see. Huh? Sorry I took so long. I kind of lost track of time. Yui-san comes back with two glasses of milk for us, setting them down in front of us and taking another seat. You didn't get any s for yourself, ma'am. Oh no, don't be silly. I'm not going to eat the cookies. I'm on a diet. June lightly taps my foot from under the table, shooting me a weird look. I said to do as he says and try focusing my eyes on his mom's face and... Is that... She has a few cookie crumbs stuck to the fur around her mouth. She didn't do what I think she did, did she? Sure you are, Mom, and I have to say, the diet really seems to be working. I can see the difference already. Really? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought I noticed some slimming too, but I wasn't too sure and I didn't want to assume. Maybe it would just be my brain playing tricks on me. <laughs> That's so true. Not gonna lie, I would very much like to just spend the day with the with the Kobayashi's. Seems like a very interesting day. It would seem it would seem like a very interesting day. Eventually, Yui-san excuses herself, claiming that she has to do some more housekeeping, leaving Jun and I to return to his bedroom. She wasn't she wasn't really eating the cookies in secret, was she? Yes, she was. It's pretty much taboo for Dad and I to mention this kind of thing, so we just play dumb and tell her she's been losing weight whenever she starts on another one of her diets. Mom tends to get too excited about all these new diet fads, but she can't stick to them for more than a few days be before she cracks. She'll pretend... She still pretends to be doing them while she eats sweets in secret, though. I guess everyone in your family has a big sweet tooth, huh? That's an understatement. Having seen him attack a box of Japanese sweets, I can also agree with that assessment. Actually, now that you mention sweets, how are the preparations for the school festival going? Um, what? If anything, does the school festival have to do with sweets? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when you said sweet, it reminded me of Ayaku-san. And then when I thought of about her, it reminded me of school, which reminded me of the school festival. Your trade of thought is all over the place. I like to think outside the box. I don't think there's even a box to begin with when it comes to you. But to answer your question, the preparations are going fine. Our class is mostly finished. That's great. What have you been put in charge of? I'm not in charge of anything. I'm just helping out with the decorations, shopping, etc. Hmm, since Ayako-san told me that the class would be opening a restaurant, I thought you'd be cooking. God, no. I like cooking for myself and for friends, but there's absolutely no way I'd cook for a huge crowd. Really? I thought you'd jump at the opportunity. The only thing that could make me jump at the opportunity of cooking for that many people would be if the alternative were to have Shoichi cook. That's a very scary alternative. One that sadly did happen. Those poor guests. Did the rep talk to you about what you might end up doing for the festival? A bit. She offered to let me give a hand with the organization. Maybe that means we get to work together. I turned her down, though. Why? My last school didn't do a festival, so I was really looking forward to doing something more involved. I was thinking of asking to work as a waiter for the restaurant. Those poor guests. Are you sure that's the best idea for you? You'd be running up and down, carrying a ton of plates and hot food for most of the night. Doesn't it sound fun? I can already imagine the chaos. Forgotten orders, spilled drinks, dropped plates. Our class's restaurant will be a bust, won't it? Too bad you won't be working at the nights of the festival, though. I want to actually enjoy the festival, go around the stalls and check everything out. I don't want to be cooped up working all night. Shifts exist, you know. You'd probably only work for one of those days. days. Nope, I don't want to lose even a single day. The school festival is great for relaxing and having fun. There's no way I'm going to spend it working. Ugh. You're such a special snowflake. W what Nothing! You might act innocent, but at this point, it's pretty obvious that you're not. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Sure you don't. Beware the quiet ones. That's all I'll say. Either way, we should all try to get at least one free day to hang out together. Oh god! Oh god! A restaurant ran by Shoichi and June. I can already imagine it. Like... Like, June would be all like, Shoichi-san, we got an order. And Shoichi would be like, oh, hey, it's something super easy, like, like, chicken noodle soup. It's, it's just chicken noodle soup. But Shoichi adds his special, but he adds a special ingredients. Those being sea slug. Coffee grounds. Fucking plant fertilizer. Maybe some rat poison, I don't know. And gives it to June. And June is just walking somewhere. And he's like, here's your order. And accidentally drops it onto the table. Instead of setting it down, he just drops it onto the table completely by accident. And it just... <laughs> and just the what you call it the and like it gets everywhere now june's a mess the person eats the food and he's just like <laughs> they would not no one would survive that might be a bit difficult the five of us are distributed across three different classrooms so it'd be pretty difficult to get our schedules to sync up Speak for yourself. I'm free as a bird. That's because you're lazy. Potato, potato. Whatever. Hey, if the theme for the restaurant is Chinese, does that mean we'll get Chinese-styled uniforms? The girls will probably wear Chinese dresses. I have no idea what the guys will be wearing, though. Is there even a male alternative to that? Mm, I don't know of any. I would wonder if I'd look like a kung fu master with a waiter uniform. It's a waiter in uniform, not a kung fu gi. Would a kung fu gi even be called a gi in China? Of course not, that's a Japanese word. Why would they use it in China? Well, that's what it's called, then. Um. I have no idea. Then you can't say for sure it's not called a gi, can you? I see where you're going with your logic, but that doesn't make it right. Why not? Because they don't speak Jap Japanese in China. How do you know? Have you ever been to China? This whole discussion was just you messing with me, wasn't it? Oh, how did you know? Ugh. Felines. Will your parents show up for the festival? They said they wanted to, but couldn't. But I wouldn't count on it. They're always so busy, especially Dad. Well, I'd imagine a cop is pretty busy most of the time. Yeah, it's really sad how little free time they have. It really makes me feel bad. Hey, it's not like it's your fault. Right. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to be doing for the first day of the festival. They haven't released the class plans yet, so I don't know what kind of stalls will be open. Do you really have to plan this kind of thing in advance? Of course! That's the only way to maximize the amount of stalls visited in the smallest amount of time. It just sounds like a big waste of brain energy. Brain energy? You know, thinking power? Th thinking power? Are you sure you're really 19? Jude, don't waste those precious neurons. Huh? Exactly. In other news, I heard Kay's band is planning to perform at the festival this year. Oh, that's exciting! Will he be on stage? Nah, he's just their manager. How come? He's a really good singer. I asked the same thing, but he didn't care to answer. He really sells himself short sometimes, huh? Agreed. I have to admit, it'd be pretty cool to see him singing with the band. Yeah, it would. I'm sure he'd wow any audience with his voice. I just wish he could have a little more confidence in himself. No matter how much we say we like his voice, he doesn't seem... He just doesn't seem to believe it. I'm tempted to call him humble, but he's a little too extreme about it. He's like that about everything. Tennis, grades, singing, no matter how good he is, it's never enough. It's a bit annoying, to be honest. Well, don't let it get to you. Everyone has their quirks. Said the quirkiest guy I know. I wish I had a good singing voice. You can already play the piano super well. Why would you need to sing? Yeah, but people don't care about the piano as much as they care about good singers. After all, piano is something anyone can learn with enough patience and practice. Your voice is something you're born with. You can still improve your voice. Well, yeah, sure you can, but a person that was born with an average voice can only get take it so far. You'll never truly, You'll never be truly great unless you were born great. He's really lucky in that sense. His voice is really amazing. Could it be that the happy-go-lucky tiger is jealous of someone for once? For once? I'm jealous of lots of people. I'm no saint. I'm jealous of your athleticism, for instance. That is also something you can improve upon with practice. 
You'd think so, but that's not always the case. Why not? Let's just say that I'm not cut out for sports and leave it at that. I don't know, you can't just say something so vague and- I said we'll leave it at that. Y yes sir Jeez, what did I do to tick him off this time? I guess he wasn't kidding when he said being cooped up in here was stressful. Um, so do you have any plans for what you're going to do after your parents allow you to leave the house tomorrow? Just the same as always, school and practice. Oh, and speaking of school, yeah? You know how I said that Ayako-san has been dropping by notes for me? I do, what about it? Well, she's also been dropping some homework by and, well, I kind of haven't done it. Any of it. Um, aren't you going to react to that at all? Why would I? I could see this punchline coming from a mile away. Y you could? Of course, I'd never expect you to do your homework out of your own volition. G you really have no faith in me, do you? Knowing you and not having faith in you are two different things. Doesn't sound all that different to me. Well, anyway, um, could I... Could I ask you to help me with it? Sure, no problem. Wait, really? You will? Why are you so surprised? I've already been helping you study anyway. How would this be any different? When you put it that way, I guess it really isn't. Well, it might be different in the sense that it'll be much easier. Trying to get you to remember stuff is definitely a Herculean task. I don't know the meaning of the word Herc... Herculean, but I'm just going to assume that was an insult. More like friendly quip. Whatever, as long as you help me with my homework and you can joke him... Can joke around as much as you like. Oh, really? As much as I like, you say? Um, maybe not as much as you like. <laughs> all right, all right. Just get me your books and I'll help you. But I absolutely won't do it for you. Be aware of that. Gah! Well, depending on how big the pile is, I might be a bit more generous with information, so we'll move through it faster. Yay! So easy to please. Once we get started, June remains seated on his desk, diligently working. He only stops a few times to ask me questions and then gets right back to it once he understands the subject matter. Even if he hates studying, his focus is really scary once he gets going. I definitely expected him to be a little more... involved in this process. Right now I'm just sitting next to him, idly twiddling my thumbs and waiting for him to call me again. Hmm... Ran into a problem? Huh? Oh, not really. I was just thinking over this question. The text is pretty long, so it's confusing me a little. Ah, yeah, some of them are designed with that in mind. They throw a bunch of pointless information at you to see if you can separate them from the important stuff. That's super annoying. Right once again. Hmm. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I kind of wish his laziness would win went out just so I could do something more interesting than staring at the ceiling. I guess I might be an, an, an enabler. Watching him just sitting quietly and studying is also a pleasant feeling somehow. It just feels so different from the usual June. Bouncing all over the place and running his mouth whenever possible. Kind of like watching a little puppy dog sleeping. Great. Now my mind has further demoted him from child to lapdog, or cat. Man, he'd be super mad if he could peer into my thoughts right now. Still, he's a much better student than I give him credit for. I'm sure he could go- I'm sure he could get very far if he applied himself a little more. Hey, Yuichi-san? Yeah, what is it? I got finished with my history homework and decided to start- get started on the math, but- uh, But, uh, I'm not good with calculus, so this might be a stupid question, but what's a sine and cosine? That's not even calculus. That's trigonometry. Oh, really? Then what about hypotenuse? At least you're adorable, June. June, at least you're adorable. I take back what I said before. This is going to be more work than I thought. Oh god! Why did schools have to invent homework? Yes, how dare they want to make sure their students are learning. Don't patronize me! I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course you do- Hey June, your mom tells me Yuichi-kun is visiting? It's true, you really are here! Oh no. Hello sir, I'm sorry for the intru- Ha! <laughs> ha!
He immediately walks up to me and shakes my hand enthusiastically. I'm so glad to have gotten to see you in the flesh again. You're so much more imposing than I remembered. I still can't believe my son is really friends with you. I'm happy to be your son's friend, sir. Dad, please stop. You're creeping Yuichi-san out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to offend. No, no, you're fine, sir. This is your house after all. Which, by the way, I've already asked you tons of times to knock before you come in, Dad. Why? It's not like you've got something to hide. That's not the point. It's the expectation of privacy. What if I were getting changed? What if I had just gotten out of the shower? But I knew you had a friend over, so of course that wouldn't be true. Yeah, sure. This time... But this is hardly the first time it happens. This happens. And you have walked in on me when I was changing before. The older tiger shrugged, staring at his son with a dumb smile on his face. A smile that I know well, because it's exactly like the one his son wears. So what? 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 Oh, ugh, ugh. oh my god. Oh my god. I feel so bad for June. I feel so bad for him. So what? It's not like you're packing anything I've never seen before. Besides, you've seen me naked plenty of times before. Wait. Seriously. Unfortunately, yes but only because he has a tendency of walking around the house in no clothes or leaving the bathroom door unlocked or not closing his bedroom door when he changes. It's not like I have anything to hide. That's not the point. The point is that I don't want to see you naked, damn it! Jeez, you're so fussy. I don't know what side of the family you got that from. It certainly wasn't mine. June's now doing breathing exercises while his father laughs at his own jokes. Yeah, I can definitely see how this sort of behavior could get, could get on someone's nerves. Oh, right, it's already late. Yuichi-kun, would you like to have dinner with us? Oh, um, I really shouldn't. Like you said, it's pretty late and I don't want to intrude. Don't be silly. It's no problem. We'd be delighted to have you with us. B but, Yuichi-san, I know it sucks for me to ask, but I still haven't finished my homework either. Could you stay until I'm done? Math is my worst subject and I left it for last. I don't think I'll be able to do it without your help. Right, that's true. We're not done yet. See? That's perfect opportunity. You can have dinner with us and then continue working on it with June. By the way, are you two doing homework together or are you just helping June? I'm helping him deal with the surplus of homework he let pile up. I thought you told me you were dealing with it as you were getting it. Gah. Well, you see... The tiger shakes his head. Don't be lazy, June. At least do your work diligently. Yes, Dad... Well, now that this has been dealt with, your mother says dinner will be ready in about ten minutes. Please join us, Yuichi-kun. Yeah, I think I'll take you up on your offer after all. I can't quite leave June with his homework unfinished. I have a feeling that the instant I walked out the door, he'd just put it aside and forget it existed. Considering what I've seen from him so far, I really can't allow him to pass up any opportunities to improve on his studies. No one needs a 20-year-old high school student after all. By the way, Kobayashi-san. Oh, please, feel free to call me Atsushi. There's no real point in calling anyone by their last name here, Yuichi-san. We're all Kobayashi, after all. I guess that's true. He's never called Aki by his last name either, so I suppose I should try and treat his family with the same courtesy. Atsushi-san, you're a police officer, aren't you? Oh, June's told you about my job? No, actually, that was just a guess of mine. Although I did have it confirmed after I first asked. A guess? How are you able to guess? No, wait, don't tell me. It's because of my cop or right? I just scream of law enforcement, don't I? That has to be it. <laughs> Ugh, Dad...
He really seems to be enthusiastic about his job, at least. Actually, it's because of your police cap. I think you were using it when I saw you last. Oh, shoot. I always forget to take it off. Ugh. I've already gotten chewed up by my superiors over this so many times before, too. He puts on a squeaky, high-pitched tone of voice like a child mocking something someone else has said. This certainly isn't the most flattering display. Kobayashi, you're not supposed to go out in public wearing your cap if you don't have your uniform. You're not on the clock, is what they'd say. I have to say I agree with them. More importantly, how does he even forget to forget manage to forget a cap on his head? Does he never change shirts? They can't all be button-up shirts, can they? Airheaded, jokey, somewhat childish. I really see who June takes after. Yui-san was right on the mark when she said the two are more alike than June realizes. Mother always knows best, huh? Anyway, I'm going to go kiss the cook before dinner is ready. See you kids in a few minutes. <laughs> Damn! Damn! Okay! Atsushi winks at us and leaves the room with an exaggerated waving gesture. You see what I mean? No common sense. I is that so? You're really not one to talk at all, June. Still, seeing your dad like that, it kind of makes me happy. Huh? Why? You guys just seem so close, I can't help but smile when I think about it. W what What's so special about that? We're a regular family. This kind of thing is normal, isn't it? At least one would hope so, but it's not always the case. You and Sai are pretty much the only ones who have perfectly normal, ordinary families like that. We are? Yeah, they might not talk much about it, but both Keisuke and Shoichi have serious problems with their families. Shoichi's parents are divorced, and because of it, he barely sees his mom and sister. And Keisuke hasn't seen his mother in years, not to mention the fact that he doesn't even speak to his father or grandmother. I hadn't really considered, like, considered that. My family has always been like this, so I never bothered to think about how things would be if they weren't. That's called taking things for granted. What about you, Ichi-san? You said Mizuguchi-san and I are the only ones with normal families, but as far as I know, you also have a loving family. Loving doesn't mean normal. I don't have a father anymore, remember? I'm sorry, I didn't even think- Relax, this sort of thing doesn't bother me, I already told you that before. That's kind of my point, you would think families like yours would be the norm, but that's not really always the case. It just makes me happy to see such a tight-knit loving family like that. You're really lucky. Yuichi-san! <laughs> I guess you're right. There we go. He's been so stressed and looking so serious all day. The glimpses I got of his smile weren't nearly as frequent as I'm accustomed to. Someone like you really should be smiling more often. That smile really suits you, June. Anyway, how about we take a break from all this homework and go eat? Okay. We walk out into the living room just as Yui-san is... Is setting up the dinner table. Atsushi-san is sitting in front of the TV watching some news report. Unbelievable, they're going to up the public transportation fare again. You already knew this was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, but still, it's the second increase in three years. I, for one, think it was a miracle that the fare is kept steady for that long. The entire world's economy is going through a crisis, after all. I just love this family. I just, I just love it so much. I love it so much. I love it. I love it. Atsushi-san grumbles unhappily at his wife's words. Oh, hey, you changed your shirt, Dad. Yeah, your mother made me get changed. Of course I did. Did you see how filthy his other shirt was? That is unacceptable when we have guests over. Why only when you have guests over? Mom actually complains about it all the time, but he just responds that he doesn't have to look good for anyone in his own home. She's just using you as an excuse to have him get changed. Oh! She's much more sly than I thought she'd be. I guess you have to be if you want to bring order to a household that has both June and his dad in it. By the way, Dad, how was work today? Did you make any arrests? Upon hearing his son's question, Atsushi-san makes a long, exaggerated sigh, shaking his head with much gusto. Unfortunately not. People seem to be sticking with the law much more frequently these days. Why do you say that as if it were a bad thing? As a cop! Shouldn't that make you happy? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure someone's bound to do something bad at some point, and then you can bust them. Yes, that's what I keep telling myself every day. Fingers crossed for some big robbery. Maybe a murder if I get lucky. What the hell is wrong with this family? No, no. I feel like the actual question should be... Hang on. 
I gotta like back up for this. What the ever loving fuck is wrong with this family? Like, what? Ah! Ah! What the fuck? That is not something that you should hope for. You don't want to hope for crime. You don't want to hope for that. What the fuck? Anyways, I will not have such morbid conversation at the dinner table, you two. At least the mom has common sense. At least the mom has common sense. At least someone does. Ah! 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 <laughs> ah! What? Ah! Ah! Anyways, but no one's sitting at the table yet. That's not how it works, June! Oh yeah, by the way, there's going to be an ad. That's not how that works! Ah! Ah! I am getting a headache from trying to figure this out! Ah! <laughs> I don't care. You should just stop talking about murders. In fact, stop pushing for any crime to happen entirely. Exactly! Alright, I'm done yelling. I'm done yelling. Thank you! At least there's a voice of reason in this household! How she manages to put up with the two of them is beyond my understanding. Yui-san just might have the patience of a saint. Either way, the food is on the table. Why don't we all eat now? Okay. Pardon the intrusion. Oh, it's not an intrusion at all. It's our pleasure to have you over, Yuichi. Everything on the table looks delicious. I really can't wait to dig in. I just hope I don't look too eager. Oh, Yui, you mean Yaki Niku. What's the occasion? There's no occasion. I just wanted to cook something extra tasty since we have a visitor. I even used the best meat we had. Ooh, I was already feeling impatient since you wouldn't use it. Of course. Good meat is supposed to be saved for guests or special occasions. I is that so? I'm not sure if I should feel guilty for getting them to waste their good food on me or not. <laughs> I could feel my brain cells just fading away when listening to that. I could feel my brain cells just gone. Dad is grateful that you're having dinner with us because that means he gets to eat good meat. Oh, I see. Like I said, don't have to worry about that anymore. We all take our seats at the table. Here's your plate, Yuichi-san. Eat as much as you'd like. Thanks. Hey, Yuichi-kun, you don't mind if I ask you a few questions, do you? Oh, is this an interrogation officer? <laughs> of course not. I wouldn't trust Dad's word on that. If you say yes to this, he's going to have you answering questions all night. Hey, that's not true. Um, I'm a little scared now. Not that bad. That's a little hard to believe. G June, don't tease your father. Me? Teasing? I would never. You've become a lot more snarky lately. What's been happening to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I do. It's called bad influences. Anyway, sure, you can ask me anything, Atsushi-san. Oh, yay! Yay? I never thought I'd see the day where I'd see a grown man pumping his fists in the air and shouting out yay. Okay, so there are a lot of things I'm curious about. Here we go. But I'm going to keep myself under control and only ask you a couple questions. Sure you are. Come on, June, at least have some faith in your good old father here. Give me a reason, and I will. It's like two old ladies having an argument. This is... surreal. Alright, alright. I'll just ask one question. Is that better for you? I really doubt you will. So do I. Yui, you're supposed to be on my side here. Says who? Says the marriage certificate we have framed in our bedroom. As far as I know, all it says is that we're legally married. I don't remember reading any passages saying that you must side with your spouse at all times. You two are really mean sometimes, you know. And now Asushi-san is hanging his head down, solar shagging, pouting, and dejected. Quite a pitiful sight for a man his age. Oh, hush, honey. You know we're just joking. I guess. Anyway, back to you, Yuichi-kun. 
boy, he sure bounced back pretty fast. One thing I've always been curious about. What made you take up tennis in the first place? You play so you play with so much passion on the courts. I always wondered what made you choose the sport. Huh. I've been interviewed a few times, but no one has ever bothered to ask me that question. I know! I read all of your interviews and never saw that question anywhere. That's why I wanted to ask. I can't tell whether I should be disturbed by this statement or not. My own father taught me to play tennis as a child, and I ended up sticking with it. Didn't really notice at first how good of a fit it was for me. Honestly, nowadays I can't even begin to imagine my life without it. Ooh, that's such a prim and proper answer. Your father really raised you well. I'd really like to meet the man that raised one of my favorite tennis players. Get June chokes on his food, coughing and hacking to try and steady his breathing again. I give him a few taps on the back to help him out. D Dad! What? What's with that reaction? Are you alright? I'm fine, but you really shouldn't ask that. H huh? Why not? I already told you not to worry about it, June. I'm used to it. I get asked about my dad all the time by teachers, coaches, and the likes. My father is deceased, Atsushi, Atsushi son. He died in an accident 12 years ago. It was a hit and run. Both of June's parents immediately freeze at my words. Yui san shoots a glare at her husband before reaching out to put a hand on top of my own. Atsushi san struggles to come up with words, uselessly muttering incoherently to himself. I'm really sorry to have brought something up like that, Yuichi kun. It was tactless. No, really, you guys don't have to worry about it. It's something that happened a long time ago. It's not a big deal anymore. <clears throat> I really wish people would stop trying to be so considerate over it. It's a lot harder to try and act to try to act like nothing happened when everyone is so concerned about my feelings all the time. I hate being put on the spot like this. You don't have to feel upset or anything about it. There's no way anyone could know without being told so. Really, it's not your fault. I I'm really sorry. Again, it was nothing. Please stop apologizing. This makes it all that much harder to pretend it never happened. So, um, Atsushi san, you're a police officer, right? What's that like? I try to get them to change the subject of conversation, both for my own sake as well as theirs. From behind the table, I feel some soft rubbing against my back. June flashes me a smile. Is he trying to comfort me? In that case, the thing rubbing against my back is probably his tail, right? I make sure to smile back at him. Bless his heart. He's trying to make me feel better, even though I'm insisting that everything is fine. Well, it's a lot less glamorous than it sounds. I just go on patrols quite often, sometimes alone, sometimes with a partner. I mostly just patrol around the downtown area. So it's really just a lot of walking, some driving, and mostly just general boredom. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Don't let Dad fool you. He loves his job anyway. Uh, oh! I never said I didn't love it. I just said it wasn't as exciting as some people would think. To be honest, not many things are as exciting as others think. That's true, too. Mm, I don't know. I would take being a police officer over what I do any day. What is that you do, Yui san? Well, right now I'm working two jobs. On weekdays, I'm a saleswoman at this precious little boutique downtown. On weekends, I help with stocking at the at a perfume store. S stocking? Again, don't be fo don't be fooled. Mom works with the stocking department by doing count and general logistics. She doesn't carry anything. Uh, oh. His family loves giving people the wrong idea, don't they? <laughs> Look on your face was priceless, though. For just a second, you were thinking, just how strong is this woman, weren't you? I take it back. Every last person in this house is nuts. The happy-go-lucky levels are off the charts here. <laughs> this is going to sound awful, but... The in-universe creator is laughing his ass off right now. They're laughing their ass off right now. Based on... This entire family, and this is going to sound awful, but I feel like it needs to be said. How have they not been wiped off of the face of the planet? How? Is it because they're so perceptive? How? It takes me almost two hours to finally get June all the way through his homework. I swear, I've never seen someone so bad at math, so bad with math as this guy. Still, after that trial is over, he comes outside to see me off. Are you sure you don't want me to walk you home? Nah, I'm fine. My house isn't that far away. Plus, I don't trust you walking around the streets at night. If you're capable of getting lost in broad daylight, I'm not going to take my chances. Thank you for having me over for dinner. It was really fun, even if we didn't plan for it. Agreed. We should do that more often. And thanks for dropping by to visit me. I really appreciated having company today. I really hated being cooped up in the house with no one to really to talk to. That's kind of your own fault. You're the one who told us not to visit. I guess that's true. Kind of dug my own grave there. Well, just try not to get put under house arrest again and this won't be a problem. 
I kind of want to object to you calling it a house arrest, but it's kind of fitting in a way. Isn't it? <laughs> June's tail lazily waves from, side, from one side to the other. The calm, refreshing breeze ruffles through our fur. At this moment, I feel oddly satisfied for some reason. Spending this day with June was much more rewarding than I thought it'd be. I don't remember enjoying myself like this in years. Man, I've really come to appreciate his company too, huh? I didn't realize how much I'd missed him in the past few days. I guess I'll see you at school tomorrow then. Yeah, why don't you drop in the music room after class? It's been a while since I played for you. Of course! I can't wait to hear your piano again. Just don't go tripping on any shoelaces, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure to double check before I try to get up and walk. Have a good night, June. See you tomorrow. Good night. I begin my short walk home. As I turn around to look at his house one last time before turning at the intersection, I see the little tiger still hanging around the front. at the front. He waves at me once he realizes I can see him, bringing another smile to my face. We're going to leave off here tonight. What is up with that family? Anyways. Stay safe. Have a good night. And I will see you all tomorrow.